this horse has a lot of ability. We, we nearly saw it last time, was in the race till halfway up the straight, then galloped, but put it all together tonight. Yeah, I drove him ordinary last time, to tell you the truth, Blake. I was hoping Kate would get going, and they were trying to get me going early, and he sort of was three wide, probably the late, last 800 metres. Sort of hung in a little bit the last bend and then galloped. But um, look, Phil's done a great job with this horse because, he, as everyone knows, when he got him from Sydney, he's had a lot of ability, but he can be known to pace and because he's pace and bred. So, uh, look, um, yeah, no, and, you know, like Phil's sort of been playing around with him and he's done a great job with him. Is he the kind of horse that now he's won a race, he can he can go on with it and, and get better, or will he always be a bit risky? He's always been a little bit risky. Even early, he was a little bit risky. He's sort of not a... Like, once you get in, like, get in probably 200 metres at the end of the race, he sort of then starts trotting a lot better. But early doors, he just felt a little bit funny early, and then he just tend to hang in a little bit around the last bend. But, um, look, he's one of them horses, if he, he sort of does everything right early and he can sort his gait out a little bit, better, um, he's the type of horse that can go places. Firstly, tell us a little bit about the race, how it panned out. It was a little bit hard to read in terms of uh, what sort of pace they were going through the middle stages. How did, it, how did it feel to you? Yeah, well, it worked out terrific for me, you know, being back where I was. He was sort of reluctant to go early and he was off the bit and I was a little concerned he may not, um, you know, going to go that well, but, um, you know, they put the race up for him and he finished off well. Uh, we know he's a good horse, he's, uh, he's certainly come back in really good order. What are the plans with him heading forward? Um, no, not really. Um, I don't really know if there's much coming up, just um, races. Um, but he's a quality horse and, um, yeah, it's sort of um, really happy to have him and, uh, yeah, excited to have him. And he's got good speed so he, and he can do it. He can go to the chair if he has to. So um, very versatile but probably um, really good speed, good off the pace too, you know. So, um, yeah, things look bright for his future. David, that win, I guess you didn't really have any favours in the run. They, they pretty much dictated in front, but just the class, I guess, and, uh, and her turn of foot too strong. Yeah, you're right, Blake. Um, yeah, she's been coming up against some you know, reasonably nice horses and stuff. Star of Memphis for one, one again tonight. Um, and, and she's gone through a couple of them better, better mares races sort of thing. So she's, she's probably, um, she probably had the edge on them a little bit in class and, and she's probably a bit more seasoned than the fellas. What does the, uh, the future look like for her? Obviously, she's already been a really good race mare. Is, is she one that can go on another season or two and, and get a little bit better and, and sort of make it at the top line mare's level? I think um, I'm pretty sure she's going to go to the breeding barn shortly, so um, I'd imagine they'll try and just um, keep her form pretty well and um, she'll pick up a couple more and then she'll, she'll be off to the breeding barn. Chris... Everything you wanted to see, really. They put a bit of heat into it early. You were able to get round at the right time and uh, and just control the race. Yeah, it probably wasn't ideal having to sit parked, but um, he relaxed really well and uh, yeah, he was really strong. He just sort of knocked off a bit when he went to the front. Uh, in terms of the feel he gives you, he's obviously a big, strong horse. He's had some time off in force, but he seems to have come back particularly well. And Inter Dominion seems firmly in his sights. Yeah, well, you know, his four runs since his layoff have been really good, and he should only keep getting better. And um, you know, the 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 top ones have dropped away a little bit, um, so he'll be right in it. If you had to, uh, very different horses, but if you had to compare him a little bit to Kai Valley Blue, um, you know, he's right in that conversation at least. Oh yeah, he's pretty much a bit more versatile than um, Kai Valley Blue. He's sort of pretty much a sit sprinter and this one can do a bit of work and, and use his speed, so uh, he's pretty much got all you need. Kima, he's obviously a really good horse and the race panned out nicely. There was a couple of moves through the middle stages and you were able to get the right uh, right tag into the race. Yeah, you're right. He um, he was really good and he uh, yeah got a good run into it and uh, finished off really strong. He's just been improving little bit by little bit this preparation and he's probably starting to really hit his peak now. Yeah, I agree. I, I thought his run last week was really, really good and uh, I thought he'd be, you know, right in it tonight and... Um, you know, I can't thank Emma and Clayton and the owners enough for letting me drive. They just, you know, horses like this, they just make me look good. <laughs> he, uh, he is a very good horse. What, uh, what's next for him? Do you know there's probably, um, you know, similar class race, just trying to get towards that free-for-all level again at some point? Yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure um, what they've got planned for him, but I'm sure he'll win um, plenty more races.
been a very fast start to the season, Kate. Driving winners left, right and centre in town. But I think you can take most of the credit for that one as well. You were, you were just able to get a nice soft time in front and, uh, and that many could sprint home as he does when he's in front. Yeah, it was. Uh, he got all. You know, we were just able to um, go as slow as we liked, and like you said, it made all the difference. And um, gate speed and barrier draws um, make such such a difference, um, especially this little horse as well. And um, it's just gold gate speed, and he led, and he's just able to run what he wanted. And he was always going to be hard to beat then. He was. He's a horse that um, I think we've seen his absolute best when he's in front and on the pegs. Is he the kind of horse that um, in stronger company he can be driven differently and, and come with one run and he will be as effective or will it always be... Will it always be that he'll be uh, he'll be best on the pegs when he's able to lead? Um, no, look, he's good with the sit too, and um, you know, up in grade, we'll, we'll be happy to, to drive him. Um, you know, if he draws one in a really good race, we'll be happy to take it. You know, um, sit on a top notch one. But you don't, you know, um, you don't know if he's good enough until the time comes and you you have a go at it. But um, he's certainly a good follower of speed and got a really good sprint. So um, yeah, I, I think he'll be pretty pretty good that way too. Kima, uh, congratulations, Group 2 win with this guy, and he's had uh, he's had a really good season, obviously, he took on a couple of the really good ones early doors, had a break, and come back terrifically well. Yeah, um, you know, I always really liked him as a young horse, and he uh, probably just had his mind on other things, so he um, got gelded and um, had a bit of a break, and then he's just come back super, he's, you know, been really happy with his trials and his work at home, and, you know, he's obviously been racing really good, so... He, he's just a real pleasure to drive. He's only just turned three, obviously, but does, does he feel like the kind of horse that could be, you know, a derby horse in January, February, or is is that uh, aiming too high too soon? Um, I don't know. You know, the way he sort of has won his two races now, he's done it pretty easy. Um, the, tonight he just got, you know, probably a little bit tired late, but he still just fought on. He wasn't going to let them pass him, so I'm uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, uh, Dominic and Ake's got it. Oh, baby. He's got a pretty... Um, Nice horse here. Very promising Philly Gregor. We spoke pre-race. It's funny how, thing, how things work out sometimes. Yeah, exactly right. Um, yeah, you sort of uh, basically sum the race up to perfection, Blake. Well, no, I was just asking the question and uh, you weren't so sure, but the way the race was run, you, you probably your hand was forced with arguably the best filly in the race. You didn't want to be, be left holding the can at the back. Yeah, exactly right. No, she's obviously shown in a, in a short career to date that she's got good speed, um, and, you know, follows speed well, can hit the line good. And, uh, you know, it's not ideal when, um, you know, to drive them in a you know, bit more aggressive manner first up when uh, in a race that's really worth winning. It's uh, you sort of, you know, always a little bit unsure how they're going to step up to the mark. But to her credit, she handled it, handled it very well. It's, uh, it's obviously very early in the season. Um, is she the kind of horse that might have a break at some stage and come back and, and even target those better three-year-old filly races? Yeah, I'm not really sure. I haven't really had much of a, a chat with David or, or connections of uh, or where they're headed with this filly, but um, certainly just in the, my observations of her and um, in the last two runs, um, she's obviously a progressive type. And uh, as I touched on before pre-race, that she's not, a, not the complete package just yet. She's still a little bit green, and, uh, but is improving every time she steps out. So, um, yeah, I imagine they'll sort of, um, they may look at, uh, at aiming her at better races um, as the season unfolds, um, you know, providing that she does uh, show that a bit more maturity and uh, a bit more ring craft. Darby, I suppose never ideal when you're wide on the track for probably as long as he was early, but they didn't break records through the first quarter and you're able to find the front, so it, it sort of all worked out okay in the end. Yeah, it worked out good. You know, he, he was just plodding out there, waiting for it to unfold. Um, they weren't they weren't running any record speed, as you said, and sort of worked out well enough that you know they handed up to him when I went around, and yeah, from there he, yeah, he hit the line. Well, he sort of tired a bit, but no, I think he was the best horse in it tonight. It was a bit hard to tell on, on first watch um, whether he was getting tired or he was just switching off. I suppose, given he ran a pretty quick third quarter, he was entitled if he was getting tired to do so. Yeah, he got a bit tired towards the end, but yeah, as as you, as you said, he was three wide to the breeze to the front and running 27 off the back. You know, he was entitled to get a bit tired. If you could write a script pre-race, I guess that's exactly how you would have wanted it to pan out. Yeah, that's right. No, um, sort of a good little sit sprinter, this one, and sustained a run, you know, from probably a little bit further out than what I, I would have, you know, 100% liked, but um, yeah, got the job done nicely. 
I suppose with that move, you were able to pocket the favourite to some degree in that and got a bit of a march on him. Yeah, that's right. I, I sort of had to get going a little bit earlier than I had, had would have liked because um, I could see the gaps were going to appear and the favourite was going to get the run. So I thought I've got to try and pinch a break on him and uh, just hope I was strong enough to hold him off. He's a really nice trotter, this guy. He's probably underrated to some degree. He's, he's a little bit one-dimensional, I guess, but when things pan out for him, he's, he's always capable. Yeah, that's right. No, he's shown a bit of ability right from day one and uh, probably took a little bit of time to put it all together, but, uh, yeah, he's starting to really hit his straps now. Vincent shoots clear now. Is this a star on the rise? Vincent brains them. Vincent by 15. How big was that, Vincent? That was outstanding. Heaven rocks tight, better. It's an all-star show in the Auckland Cup. And Vincent, Vincent too good. 